Okay, so we're looking at the shipping modules now, which is under modules, then shop is shipping. You've got different ways or different rates you can use for shipping. You've got your flat rates, which is self-explanatory, free shipping options, free shipping. Um, you can charge per item, per unit. You've got store pickup as well, which means there won't be any shipping. Table rate, I'm not quite sure what table rate means, but anyway. And you've got the United Parcel Service and United States Postal Service rates there. Okay, now for all of this, there are different ways in which you can charge your shipping. So let's go to flat rate. Or edit. I think I was already in there. Okay. So for flat rate shipping, you can charge a flat rate regardless. So the shipping cost for all orders using this method is that. You can charge tax on it if you want to. Um, you can either ship it to... Oh. Okay, so on what basis is shipping tax calculated? So whether it's on shipping based on customer's shipping address, based on their billing address, or whatever. But um, I just leave it as is for me. Now, shipping zone. Now we've only got Florida in there at the moment, which means you only ship to that area. Okay, so that obviously is the only one that's been set up right now, but we can change that later. And then you just click on update. Now there will be um, times where you will charge shipping based on the item. And that you've got your shipping cost, you've got your handling fee, you've got your tax class again. We always charge tax here in Australia. Um, you've got your zone again, so that's much the same, so you update that. Okay, so the difference between flat rate and per item would probably be the fact that if you're sending um, five items at $2.50, you've got a cost of $12.50 there, whereas this one will charge you $5 regardless. Okay, per unit, that's per. That's to do with your weight. So, because obviously we know if we're posting things, it's based on the weight sometimes. Okay, so you've got your product quantity times units, that's their weight, times the cost per unit will be how it's calculated. So you can tell it how to calculate that for you. Um, So as you can see here, as it says here that when you're using this shipping module, you need to be sure to check the tear settings in the shipping packaging and select or set the largest weight high enough to handle the price, such as 5,000, and, and adjust the settings on small and large packages, which will add to the price as well, of course. Okay, so the shipping cost will be used to determine, look at these typos, the shipping charges based on the product quantity times the units or which is the weight times the cost per unit um, in that order and that, that uses this particular shipping method okay and you can add a handling fee in that as well and you update that store pickup you can select that they can come and pick up items from you direct again you're gonna have zero shipping cost um, so yeah that's all Pretty self-explanatory, I'm sure. Okay.